Hey guys, it's Sea Fisher here, and um, so the audio should be working today. It didn't work yesterday because I had my headphones plugged into my laptop, which means that you heard from over there. Um, so I fixed that. Just put up a quick little video. Uh, um, the beard. I have to tell you, the beard has survived another day, which I was very surprised about. I'm actually curious how far it's going to go before my mother will just get fed up and go, you know what, I'm dragging you into the barber shop. Buy your beard if I have to. Um, I'm not really bothered by it, I'm just curious how long they're going to like stand for it. <clears throat> the, and part of the never ending plight of, uh, of uh, my generation to irritate his parents. Um, oh, I was going to talk about the mod pack today, but I still can't. Because I really... You guys, you understand, I was going to be productive today. I promise I really was. I was going to be a lot more productive than I was. I was slightly productive, because, I mean, you know, it's the last day of the Thanksgiving holiday before we go back to school. I was going to be slightly productive, but then it turns out that the Yogg's Cast Christmas livestream started today. And at about 2 in the afternoon, my schedule just went out the window. Nope, nothing more I can do today because livestream. And that's the problem, is like... With a YouTube video, you can pause it, go back to it, and stuff with the live stream. You're worried you're going to miss, like, something that everybody will be talking about for, like, years. And this is just black coffee again. I think I told you about that. Like, my sudden new addiction to coffee. I'll explain more later. But when you watch the live stream, you know, you're not, you're worried. Like, I remember I didn't watch parts of the live stream. I did watch the one day last year. The Nalsey Protectional Strem, so I got that reference, um, and that was the day he made the most money of all of the of all of them with him just sitting there drawing stuff. But it was it was all in good fun. Um, this year, oh my God, first day of the live stream, they earned a hundred thousand dollars, which is like what? It's a, it's a truly like amazing. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. It's amazing to me how many people. Like, it was something like 5,000 people donated, which I think is amazing, and I think very good. <coughs> kind of all, all thready today. I think it's amazing for them, and although, you know, they're, I'm really glad that they're donating to so many different charities, you know, they're donating to Oxfam, to, um, uh, I can't remember the specific names, I know there's, um, like, there's, there's, there, basically it's sort of something to relate to, like, you know, kids and game and video games and stuff that really they care about which i think is awesome um so good on them yogs cast and it's day you understand this is day one that's like this is this is a crazy amount of money that they've raised and um i did my part i put in like 30 bucks i put in 25 to begin with and then i put in another five later um and the good thing is that that actually means that I got, like, um, and then obviously, you know, I didn't, it's, it's very a weird position for me to be in sometimes when, like, I donate to things, because I know that, like, in, in my heart, I'm not doing it just for, like, you know, the games or whatever that you get from it, but I kn know that it'll appear that way to some people, and even though I know that those people's opinions don't really matter to me, it still bothers me a little bit, it's like, that's kind of when I'm, like, I'm very kind of... I try to be very, you know, honest about things a lot of the time, you know, I don't like it to feel like, it's sort of, it's, it's funny, it's sort of like an, uh, a, it's sort of a stubborn honor thing with me, if anybody even, th like, would suggest that I'm not, you know, like, you know, trying to be the best that I can be, that if I'm in any way, like, you know, not doing my best, that's like when I start throwing down with them, which I think is a little... It's probably it sounds it sounds a little bit douchey and ridiculous when um over the over the internet you know the internet is a great um you know insincere insincere it has this great insincerity that it applies to anything that is involved with it but that's the kind of person I am so it, it kind of made me feel uncomfortable to be donating like the twenty five dollars but that was literally like all I could really afford to because I'm I'm going to do a a thing that I'll probably tell you about later um at the end of the year. Yeah, I think I think I'll tell you later. I think that can be kind of a secret thing. 
it's not going to be that much of a secret at some point. Somebody will figure it out eventually, but it's kind of a secret. My eyebrows are, like, really dark. I just noticed this. Um, but, yeah, that's a thing. Um, <clears throat> so, after doing the, um, donating the $24 got me the, um, the six games, the beta key, the keys that they, uh, the Steam keys that you get for the games, and also the, uh, the, uh, Heart of Gold TF2 item, which I thought was really cool. And that one's, like, a, just a five-buck donation. But it was all really cool. Um, so, what did I get? I got this weird game called Shank 2, which I haven't actually played. Like, it was downloading, and actually it was making it hard for me to record the video because it was downloading. Like, just then, I haven't really played it. I don't know if I'm even gonna because it looks a little weird and probably really gory. Which I'm not crazy about. Like, some games like Borderlands 2 are, you know, kind of redeem themselves from that because they're hilarious. But I'm not really interested in, like, just a, you know, excessively gory game. I got Chivalry, which, um, I'm really bad at. Because the tutorial for Chivalry is just... You cannot... The tutorial makes no sense. It's, like, got this weird story involved in it. And... Just a bunch of it's just it's 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 bad it's bad things, um, and uh, then I got uh Sonic All Star Racers, or something like that, which I think is kind of funny, and it sounds like a fun like a knockoff. It's obviously a knockoff of Mario Kart, but it looks like a fun knockoff of Mario Kart from what I've seen of like Strippin playing it. Um, uh, what else did I get? Oh yeah, there's there's one there's a couple other ones. I got uh got this weird like little like I don't, I don't even know what to call it. It's like kind of an MMO and kind of an RPG, but not really. It's called like a something like Spinning Knights. It's not it's not what the name is, but it's something like that. I'll tell you tomorrow. Uh and that was okay for like the five minutes I played it, and then I went, yeah, I really want to play this game. The other game that I really wanted to play was Torchlight. I have fallen in love with Torchlight. Torchlight is like, the it is the best. I mean, the, the art style, I love the art style, the whole concept of it, and the classes you can play. I've always like, the thing is like, being the kind of person that I've already described myself as. Mm. Oh, God, that's good, bitter. Um, it's, uh, it's kind of weird to want to play, like, uh, you know, I, I mean, I'm sure everybody has this thing where they want to play, like, you know, they want to play Dishonor on high, like, super high chaos just once, or, like, you know, be the dark side that one time, and they've always played, like, you know, the, uh, the Rebels whenever they can in Battlefront or whatever, but Torchlight, it's kind of like, I feel like, I've always wanted to be, like, the, like, the magician type guy, but all the other games may just... May just it just may just all seem like complete whims to me, but no, this game is like I love it. Oh my god, I love it. You don't even you don't even know, guys. I love this game. It's so great. Probably gonna end up playing it like later into the night, which I shouldn't do. <coughs> so that's part of my life. It's about eight minutes into the video. We are now going to go to the um, hopefully shortened segment. Come on, phone. We're going to talk about <coughs> the holidays today. What are the holidays today? Da, 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 da. I'm gonna make that, that'll be the jingle. You know that that that's the jingle, and we'll remember it for tomorrow. So today, on the bizarre holidays front, it is um well, as you always know, when I say today, I'm talking about December second because that's when all of you reasonably uh cycling. How do I say this? All you people with reasonable cycles will watch this. If you're like me and you have a crazy, you know, sleep when I'm dead cycle, then you'll watch it on December 1st and be confused. Um, this Today, December 2nd, is National Fritters Day. What is a fritter? You and most of the country, apparently, are asking the same question. A fritter is if he's bread with, like, meat or apples inside of it. So it's basically, like, a stuffed... Like, basically, like, just, like, a stuffed pastry or something. That's just all a fritter is. I think it's, like, just a generic food term. And, uh, my culinary friends out there, if I'm totally wrong, let me know. 
because there's people I know who are going to culinary, several people, uh, or at least who are knowledgeable chefs, and I know that they'd be horrified and mortified if I was wrong about this. <coughs> this coffee cup, by the way, has nothing to do with... I have no real political affiliations, so don't even... Comment section, don't even. You know what, don't just... That's all I'm going to say, don't even. Um, on the front of birthdays, we have, um... What was his name? Hello? Charles Ringling. In 1863, who is now for 150. Um, Charles Ringling, he uh, founded the Ringling Brothers, formed the Ringling Brothers Circus. I thought that was an interesting birthday today, and hopefully you do too. So go look up uh, Charles Ringling while you're eating your fritter at the uh, table today. Also, at the breakfast table, um, appreciate the fact that Barney B. Clark received the world's first artificial heart transplant in 1982. It's interesting when you think about it. That's only like 20 or 30 years ago. So, you know, if you like say like you're your 40 year old dad or something, you know, if you're like you know a little older than that, and you had a heart problem, and you need a transplant. That was like you know that it's very recent that it's become a reality to you know to remove someone. You know, Surgeon Simulator 2013 could never have been Surgeon Simulator 19. 81, you know, I mean, Surgeon Simulator is probably not ever going to be accurate by any definition of medical science ever in, in a million years, but that's, that's very recent, and that's kind of scary, that only recently have we been able to, you know, and, uh, well, I don't want, I don't want to say scary, I want more like, uh, probably interesting, is that only recently have we been able to save people who have needed heart transplants. So that's something to think about. A little more of a deeper thought today. Um, so, I'm, so, oh, my thing about coffee. Coffee, for me, has always been the elusive, don't drink it, you'll go more hyper substance. As, you know, I have some ADHD. Um, which, by the way, when I was playing Torchlight, it was just, like, shooting off in all directions. What's that? What's that? What's that? I don't... I love games, and I hate games that start off with, like, not telling you how it all works. Because you have to figure it out for yourself, but then you have to figure it out for yourself. So it's been this substance that, like, everybody says, Oh, don't drink it, you'll go more hyper, and, you know, be, like, twitchy, and who winked or whatever. Horrible pop culture reference, by the way. That was a, a bizarre movie. And the sequel was worse. Actually, the, the first movie was incredible. The sequel was awful. But I decided, because like, <coughs> from what I've heard, for people with ADHD, if you um if you drink coffee, it actually calms you down more than it like hypes you up because like this the way your brain works is neurologically complicated. I'm not sure. So I started drinking coffee, and people kept telling me how hard it was to acquire the taste. But this is literally the third day I've ever picked up a cup of coffee in my life. And I'm drinking it straight black. And I only wince when it's really cold or really hot. Like, there's... I discovered there's, like, that, that like, niche... Oh, no, not niche. Like, that, that window of coffee drinkability. And I've yet to figure out the actual time... <coughs> that that window stays open and when it starts and when it ends once I find that so I'm going to leave you there for today that's why you should be happy on December 2nd 2013 and I hope that you have a very wonderful day today and I will see you when the next one rolls around bye